For too long, the historical accomplishments of women of color have remained hidden. Though their dreams deemed forbidden, these trailblazers continue to work in the shadows of others who received all the credit. Well, to mathematics educator Dr. Shelley M. Jones, these facts didn't add up. And hence, a book that uncovers and deems these brilliant, courageous women unhidden figures. The book is titled, Women Who Count. Oh, okay, Women Who Count, Honoring African American Women Mathematicians. It's a children's activity book I wrote to motivate children in grades three to eight, although it's appropriate for children of all ages. In the book, I have 29 mathematicians featured, and for each I have a sketch or a photograph. I also have biographies for each of the mathematicians, followed by elementary and middle school activities, such as word searches, crossword puzzles, um, equations, uh, solving equations, an iSpy lab, just because those are things that I think kids would enjoy doing. The book is sectioned into four parts. The first, the pioneers, the unhidden figures, and the contemporary first. And each of the women are different times in history. For instance, the contemporary first include mathematicians like Dr. Talitha Washington. She was the first African American to receive a PhD in math at the University of Connecticut, Yukon. And so in 2001, we are still having first. We all gonna end up unemployed riding around in this pile of junk. You're welcome to walk the 16 miles. Oh, I'll sit in the back of the bus. Like me up. You have identification on them? NASA, sir. NASA? I had no idea they hired. There are quite a few women working in the space program. The least I can do is give y'all an escort. Three Negro women are chasing a white police officer down the highway in 1961. That is a God-ordained miracle. In 14 days, astronauts will be here for training. And we're shooting a human into space, and it's never been done before. With the launch of the Russian spy satellite, the president is demanding an immediate response. Running from the man. Space test group needs a computer. Catherine's the gal for that. She can handle any numbers you put in front of her. This is about inventing the math. Because without it, we're not going anywhere. Yes, sir. That's John Glenn. What do you guys do for NASA? Calculate your launch and landing site. How could you be ugly in these white men? It's equal rights. I have the right to see fine in every color. Oh, not, not found it. If you were a white male, would you wish to be an engineer? I wouldn't have to. I'd already be one. Yes, it's an uphill battle. Did it. But yes, who else is playing? I don't know if I can keep up in that room. Just make that pencil move as fast as your mind does. You've been gone for 300 hours. It felt like it to me, too. Colonel Glenn launches in a few weeks. We don't have the man figured out yet. There is no protocol for women attending. There's no protocol for a man circling the Earth either, sir. Every time we have a chance to get ahead, they move the finish line. I need to be in that room hearing what you hear. Within these walls, who makes the rules? You, sir, you are the boss. You just have to act like one, sir. We have liftoff. We all get there together, we don't get there at all. In the fight of our lives, people. My gals are ready. We can do the work. More than 50 million Americans watching. I got a warning light. Go find Catherine. Colonel Glenn. There's a real fireball outside. It's getting a little hot in here. When I saw that movie, it blew my mind. I think the next day I went out and started a Kickstarter campaign. Dr. Jones jumped into action, meeting with these iconic figures doing research, all while continuing a busy schedule. Finishing the book while working full time was not an easy task, and it, it took me about a year to do it, and then it took me about another year to edit it. Actually, Dr. Jones was writing this book long before she knew. And so I created a bulletin board for the math department, and, and that on that bulletin board I had Evelyn Boyd Granville, and um, 
And now today, when I look back at that picture, I couldn't believe it, that I already had her in there. Of course, there were the first. And anytime you're a first, I mean, you're an inspiration. You're a pioneer, but you're also just the first. Dr. Shelley M. Jones is the first African-American to receive tenure and full professor at Central Connecticut State University. Certainly a woman who counts. Okay, so one of the things I learned about African-American women featured in my book is that they all had role models themselves. The role models weren't always black women, but they had role models. And most importantly, they had someone in their younger years that encouraged them to do math and that told them that they could do math. That's so powerful. Like, there's so many resources out there that we need to use to inform our students and our children because if they don't know their history, they don't realize the brilliance that they come from and their own brilliance. They I want to thank you all for coming out this evening to share with me in my special showing of Women Who Count, honoring African American women mathematicians. This was a labor of love for me, and I'm so glad that you're here to share it with me. These books are available for purchase, and I would like you to get one. Think of your uh, grandchild or even the child next door that needs a book like this. Hey, think of yourself. These are women that I know I didn't know about, and so I was excited to begin to learn about these women, and I think that you would be too. In fact, my mom has already started reading the book and has been very excited to learn about the women and calls me all the time to ask me different questions about each of the women in the book. So enjoy yourself and enjoy the book. Thank you.